Hey, this is Medigeek Adam, and in this video, I'm going to play around with a repeater and see what it does on our network. So this repeater came from Mr. Medigeek himself. I've never used the repeater. I don't know if it's still configured, what it's going to do when I plug it in, uh, what any of it's going to look like. Um, I've never played around with a repeater before, so this is kind of just an experiment to see what it does. So first up, I'm going to go find a spot to plug it in. All right, now I'm going to open up Insider and I'm going to run it as an admin. The reason I'm running it as an admin is I want to connect this uh, compatible adapter to it. And there's a list of compatible adapters with Insider that I'll add to the description of this video. And so once it opens as an admin, I'm going to plug in the adapter. As you can see here. And what that's going to do is it's going to unlock client traffic analytics. So you can see the utilization column just show up. And the reason I am doing this is I want to see how that repeater is utilizing uh, the airspace around me. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into MetaGeek office and I'm going to see if anything is new around the area that I'm at right now. And I sorted this by signal strength because I'm curious to see what's closest to me. Uh, I see a couple of new stuff at the very top. If you see the, the plus one uh, right now, that means there's a new BSSID that's uh, has been seen to this network that has been seen before. But something that I, I do see with a really strong signal strength is this focus. And so I'm just going to double check that this is the repeater that I installed. So I'm going to go over there and I'm going to see if the signal strength gets higher when I go over into that direction and hover right above it to see uh, where the signal strength lands. And that'll give me a good indicator if it's that repeater or not. So I'm going to go check it out real quick. Well, that definitely was it. Uh, you can see it go up to negative 10 dBm. I basically had the antenna of the adapter right on top of the antenna of the repeater. So it got super duper high, and I'm very confident that that is the repeater that I just installed. And so it's called Focus. It is a Netgear repeater. And right now it is uh, utilizing the network a little bit. We see it hovering around 1.2%. Um, so even though this is a repeater that I just installed and it's not connected to the MetaGeek office network or anything like that, it still has relatively high utilization. It's, and so what that's telling me is that it's probably just looking for the network that it was set up to see if it's around uh, so it can join it. Um, so that's what your repeater is doing if it's just in kind of a discovery mode. All right, so I went and retrieved this rogue device. And so again, that's what it was doing if it was just connected and had power. It was just broadcasting, taking up airspace on that channel, channel one. Uh, so even though it wasn't connected and it wasn't really acting as a repeater, it was still taking up some airtime. And you might be wondering, is a repeater good for my Wi-Fi or is it bad for my Wi-Fi? So the answer is yes and yes. It is good if it helps you gain coverage to that area where you're lacking Wi-Fi coverage and if it gives you adequate throughput to do the things that you want to use Wi-Fi for. Uh, but it is bad in that it, um, it does increase management overhead and it does create another uh, interfere on your channel that you're using your Wi-Fi on because a repeater basically just takes the same channel that your AP is operating on and then rebroadcast that out on the same AP with a different SSID typically. And that's gonna cause a pretty high co-channel interference because it's a higher, because it's gonna be a pretty high signal strength that is broadcast and that's gonna be something that's pretty loud in your environment. So the answer is yes, it's good for Wi-Fi. Uh, yes, it's bad for Wi-Fi and it really just all depends.